Hello friends, how are you? See, this is a building. What do you see when you look at this building? You see its skin, which is now made up of wood. It may be of concrete, metal panels, glass, stone, masonry. And behind this skin, there is a frame or skeleton. That skeleton may be of concrete, wood or masonry or even steel. Here, in this book, we will see the preparation of drawings for the fabrication and erection of steel frame. In this video, we will see the construction process and steel detailer's role. Suppose Ram wants to construct his home and he doesn't know anything about the construction process. He is confused about how should be the shape of the building, what should be the sizes of the rooms, how to form roof and walls of the building. So, for his help, we suggest him he should have a construction team. There are several ways owner may choose to contact with the steel construction team to deliver a project. And they are design build build and design build approach. Traditionally, steel construction team consists of owner, architect, engineer, contractor, fabricator, steel detailer, erector, inspector, and sometimes team also includes construction manager who is responsible for having project completed on time and within budget. When owner decides a building type and purpose it need to serve, he contacts architect. Owner and architect then discuss about the function of the building and decides shape and size of the structure according to its usage. Then architect prepares set of plans and specification, layout and dimension of interior spaces, type of material to be used and color of interior and exterior. Architect then selects a structural engineer who studies the forces in the supporting structure and determines the size of elements to resist forces and develops design details for connection. Owner also selects the general contractor to construct the building. The selection method is discussed further in the subsequent video. General contractor is responsible for constructing the structure according to plans and specification and for delivering the building to the owner for occupancy <clears throat> within schedule and within the budget. To do this, the general contractor awards several portion of the building to pertinent subcontractors like HVAC, plumbing, electrical, roofing, masonry, steel. The general contractor coordinates the requirements and efforts of this and other related trades. Structural steel subcontract is awarded to steel fabricator whose responsibility is to accurately fabricate various steel components to on time delivery to the job site for <clears throat> meeting the contractor's construction schedule. The fabricator is responsible to the owner, the owner's agent or the general contractor and has a duty to keep all these parties fully informed about the changes that impact the project cost and schedule. AISC Code of Standard Practice for Steel Buildings and Bridges AISC 2005A in that 
section 9.3 gives the procedures the fabricator and erector are expe expected to follow in response to the revisions to the contract document. The person who prepares shop and erection drawings for fabrication and erection of the structure is known as steel detailer. Steel detailer translates design data given by the owner's <clears throat> Design representative, normally the structural engineer of record, who approves the shop and erection drawings, that data into information fabricator and erector need to build a structure. At job site, steel erector receives material from the fabricator and places it in proper location in the building. Their job is erecting steel members to plumb and properly align structure to ensure all joints are fitted properly. Bolts are installed and welds are made according to industry standards and specification. Throughout the construction process, inspector check the material and workmanship at job site and in shop for various subcontractors. We will see the importance of steel detailers work. It is performed early in the construction process and used subsequently by other members of the construction team. So it must be complete and accurate. If errors are there, it can endanger structure and cause expenses. So, Steel detailer must be familiar with the fabricator's practices and equipment in shop. He must know size and weight limit erector can handle. For that, he may contact with the general contractor with the messages. Essence of teamwork and cooperation is essential between the subsequent parties mentioned earlier is must for successful completion of the project. So, in this video, we have seen the construction team and role of each individual. And we also saw the construction process called design, bid, build. In the next video, we will see about the raw materials. Thank you so much to all for being with me throughout this video. Happy learning! If you find this video useful, then please share. It will help others. And subscribe to get notified about new videos.